All right, so welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm not going to be doing Kickstarter stuff. I actually got a couple things sent out to me. Um, I got first up is uh, the Meikei or Meikei. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a Chinese company that makes um, affordable um, camera gear. And the first thing I have is this LED fill-in light. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. So um. Yeah, intensity control button, charging interface, power switch, and battery power indicator. So pretty basic setup here. And we have the instructions uh, and the guarantee. And uh, yeah, a list of some of their other, other products that they have. And an instruction manual in English and simplified Chinese. So cool. Now I've wanted one of these for a while um, just for doing some video recording so that I can uh, get a better quality lighting with what I'm shooting. And when they sent me this I was excited because yeah, now I can um, get some videos. So they got a couple mounts here in the bag. Um, USB mini D type connector and the light. Uh, one cool thing about this light is it does have these screens that you can put on and you can change the color. So uh, if I wanted to go with like if, if my lighting in my room is too uh, like, like fluorescent lights I can put this on there and kind of warm things up a little bit or just like a simple diffused light and you can probably use it like this too. I don't expect it to have any power out of the box but let's go ahead and turn it on see if we have anything. Wait, here's the power switch on the side. Wow, check that out. Wow, it's so bright. It's very bright. Yeah, so it does come with a little bit of charge to it. And here in the back you can attach your phone. So that's kind of cool. Um, so if you're doing recording on your phone, you can just holster your phone in there and get some light. And here's the bracketing pieces. So if you do want to mount it on something, you can. Let's take a look at these mounts real quick. I have never owned one of these before. So, I might have to go to the instruction manual here to see what we got. Yeah, but actually, this is pretty well made. Um, what I can tell, I mean, it's, it's you know, aluminum or, I mean, it's not plastic right there. This is going to be great because I want to actually mount this onto my my cameras and I, it's got the hot shoe mount so that's going to be cool and this is basically what I wanted to use it for was mounting it on top of my camera alright let me grab a camera and we'll mount it and see how well it sticks alright so I got my Fuji film X-T2 camera um, this is kind of my go to little portable kit I carry with me sometimes and Let's take off this uh, phone mount first of all. Yeah, it came off so easy the first time, and I don't really know how to remove it. That's good. <laughs> no, that really, that's a good thing, because that means if I do put a phone on here, it's not going to fall off easily. Oh, you know what? I think. This was kind of holding that in place, but that's okay. All right. So let's put this on the Fuji film and see how tight we can make it. Actually, that's really good. It's really well into place. And yeah, now I got some light. That works pretty well. Um, 
So yeah, I'll test this out a little bit and um, I'll throw up some footage for you guys to see. We'll see how, if we like it or not. But yeah, so far this is pretty cool. This is exactly what I wanted. So hmm. let's throw another one on here real quick and let's see. Snaps in here on the edges. And just so you know, I do still have the film on here. Um, I haven't taken that off yet. But all right, let's see if that one falls off as easily. No, it's good. Yeah. Let me take this mount off. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So, um, this is a pretty nice little um, light we got here. Uh, I'm going to test it out in the field. And I'm sure you guys are going to see some video of me using this because it's pretty cool. It's very compact. It's about the size of a cell phone. So it's going to be easy to carry around with me. Um, overall, first impression is it's nice. It's good. Um, it's definitely worth the price. I mean, uh, it, you see these things, they get pretty expensive. And this is one of the less expensive models, but it's made good. It's made nice. So yeah, we'll test it out and see what we think. The Make A MKS150 weighs about 12 ounces and is 3.4 by 2.1 by 7.4 inches. It has a built-in rechargeable polymer battery. The light output comes from LED lights that are adjustable via a fine tuning wheel. It has power display that lets you know the energy consumption at any time. The box contents include the flash, three filters, hot shoe mount, bracket mount, warranty, and charging cable. All right, next up is the macro LED ring flash. So um, this is the model MKFC 110 and it is designed for macro photography. It's good for macro photography, it's good for portrait photography, it just depends on what you want to shoot. But let's open this up and see what we've got inside this one. Alright, so just looking at the box, um, I mean, it says that it comes with several guides, and a color temperature ring, and the flash itself. So we got the instructions again, and these are all of our rings, so we can mount these up with any of the lenses that you have. Um, now the rings themselves, these are made out of plastic, which, I mean, that is something that could break, but this is another one of those affordable purchases, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and I don't know if they, I, don't, I haven't seen anywhere where they sell replacement rings, so if these do break, then you're probably out of luck, but it is a hard plastic and I think it would take a lot of pressure to break one of those. So let's mount one of these up to my camera and we'll give it a couple test shots and see how it looks. All right. And then let's put these to the side. Next up, we have the ring flash itself. Alright, so this is not as sturdy as the products in the, uh, the last thing we reviewed because this is more of a plastic design. Um, cable does look a little bit weak, but I think it's going to take a lot of wear and tear before it's going to start showing up bad. So yeah, that's cool. It mounts on right there. Just snaps in. You got two little buttons here. One left and one right. It just snaps right onto your cap that you just put on there. And this is a filter, so you can take that off too if you don't want that orange light. Alright, and...
Next up, I need batteries. So it looks like this takes four double A's. So let me grab some of those. Let's so throw some batteries in here and we'll get some shots. So it's got a little thing right here to tell you which side goes where. So negative, positive, negative, positive. And those batteries are a tight fit. And I'm wondering if I didn't put them in correctly. Nope, that is right. All right. All right, so it doesn't look like this has any TTL settings. Um, oh, sorry about that. But it does have a constant light setting, so that's cool. And yeah, you can set the, the speed of your flash up. Yeah, let's attach it here and see how it looks. Alright, so yeah, it works. Um, and as you can see, uh, lights up pretty good. Let's take off that warming filter and I'm going to try cranking up the power here. So this is a complete one to one. And yeah, those pictures look pretty good. So you can see this is nice and I like the function I like the fact that it has this light button here so it means I could turn on this light and I could probably switch over here to my video mode yeah and I can do lighting straight from the ring flash and with that adjustable meter on here I can crank that up or lower it down if I want to So yeah, um, this is pretty good. I, I like it. Uh, like I said, it is a lot of plastic for a ring flash, but I mean, most of your ring flashes are made of plastic these days, which that's good and it's bad. I mean, it's a lot lighter. It, it's gonna be easy to carry around, take to places, but it, it will be easy to break. So um, I'm sure it won't take much to break this if I drop the camera, which you never wanna do anyways, but if I drop the camera or if I drop the flash, Pretty sure that something on here would break off, um, but that's all right. I mean, good price, good ring flash, power output is good for what I'm going to be using it for. The Makey FC110 uses LED flashes. The settings offer eight levels of illumination and come with a warm color filter so you can shoot 3200 Kelvin or 5500 Kelvin. The settings also offer full flash or left and right only channels. The ring flash weighs only 180 grams and is 125 by 116 by 21 millimeters or 5 by 4.5 by 0.8 inches. The power adapter is 171 by 77 by 60 millimeters or 7.5 by 3 by 2.3 inches. The box contents include the flash, warranty card, and several adapter rings to mount to your lenses. The four AA batteries are not included. So that's the end of my quick review and unboxing for the LED fill-in light and the macro LED ring flash by, uh, this one is the um, MKFC110 model and this one is the MKS150 so I'll leave links down below in the description in case you're interested in buying them you want to see the price point um, basically you can get both of them for about uh, $50 each I'd say, $50 US dollars each so price is good um, and as you can see they're pretty decent quality uh, if you guys haven't checked out my other unboxing videos I've been doing Kickstarter unboxing videos because I get a lot of Kickstarter so I'm gonna leave a link here on the side so go ahead and click on that and if you want to see my daily video blogs where I'm actually using this stuff that I get um, <laughs> that I'm actually unboxing all the time um, I'll leave some links to those too so you can check that out so until next time see ya